which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seen. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for that Jesus has passed by. Yeah. And Lord, that he has made us whole. And Lord, though we were blind, now that we see, yeah. because of your Holy Spirit that has enlightened our eyes. Lord, we just pray that you would help us this morning that we might see your truths. Lord, with the spiritual eyes of understanding. And that we might hear, Lord, with ears uh, to hear in our hearts, Lord, to live for you as you have thus commanded us. Lord, that we love you and that we will keep your commandments. Yeah. Lord, we just pray that you would forgive us where we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. And as Jesus passed by, amen, as the song that was sung this morning and, and uh, the hymns that were sung, it's all about Jesus, amen? amen? Because had it not been for Jesus, none of us would be here, amen? Right. Had it not been for Jesus, nothing that is made would have been made, amen? Right. Because it was by Jesus that all things were created. Through Him and for Him and to Him. Amen? Amen? And it's because of Jesus that we are made whole. It's because of Jesus that we have eternal life. Amen. And as Jesus passed by, He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And His disciples asked, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, Neither hath uh, this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in Him. Yeah. You know what? That's God's purpose for each one of our lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. The, the things that we have in our lives, the circumstances that we have in our lives, uh, that maybe we look at as problems, uh, are opportunities for God to work. Amen? Amen. The things that happen to us in our lives are all so that God's glory and His power can be shown through us. Amen. And it, we need to... Uh, show his power in this man who was blind because he wanted to show that God and only God has the power to heal. Amen? Yeah. And that God, only God, has the power to save. God wants to make his power manifest in our life, but it's going to be through Jesus Christ. Amen? God will show his uh, power in us through his son, Jesus Christ. Just as Jesus came into the world and He lived and He healed and He did all these miracles to show the power that God had placed upon Him. Yeah. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 1. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 23 through 31. It says, But we preach Christ crucified. Unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, Amen. and the wisdom of God. Amen. Aren't you glad that Jesus is the power of God? Amen. Amen. And the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh... Not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things uh, that which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. That no flesh should glory in His presence. But of Him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, He that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. 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 Not, not uh, just in the good things, but in the weak things we need to glory in the Lord. Yes. Amen. Uh, not just in the high and mighty things, but uh, in the weak, in the, those things that are base things, the low things that are despised by the world. God hath chosen to 
make his power known. Amen? Yeah. The things that we go through in our lives that seems to be troubles and heartaches, God uh, uses them to show his power and his strength. Amen. Praise the Lord that God wants to work in our lives. Yeah. But we have to look to Jesus. Amen? Amen? He is passing by. Opportunities are everywhere for Amen. God to show his power. But we have to look to Jesus who is passing by our way. Amen? Amen. So that we might call on Him and that His power can be in us. And that we would not be ignorant. That we would not be blind as the world is, but that we would be uh, children of the light. Amen? Children of the day. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Second Corinthians chapter 12 and starting in verse 6 it says, For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure, through the abundance of the revelations there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in my infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Amen. Amen. What a glorious thing he's saying here. Is that even though he had a messenger of Satan to buffet him, yet he would glory in those things because it was in those things that the strength and power of Christ was made known through him. Amen. That in his weakness, in his infirmity, in his persecutions, in his reproaches, that it was opportunities for God to work and to show his marvelous power. Amen. To show his working in our lives. Yeah. Are you looking for those opportunities? Amen? Amen. Are you looking for Jesus as he's passing by Amen. in your problems, in your persecutions, in your reproaches? In your necessities, amen, and the needs that you have, and the cares that you have. Are you looking for Jesus and the opportunity for Him to work in your life? Look at Hebrews chapter 11. (coughs) Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32 through 40. It says, And what shall I say more? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fear, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong. That's valiant in fight. Turn to the flight, uh, to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again. And others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourging, yea, moreover bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. Amen. Amen. Listen, look at all the things that have been done by faith. Amen. All the things that have done by the power of Christ. 
And it is through faith. It is through faith that Jesus works in our life. It is through faith that the power of God rests upon us. Because faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Amen. It is by our faith. It is not by our doubts. It's not by our, uh, 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 our griping and complaining about the situations that we're in. Listen, if you're in a different situation, if you're in hard times, if you're in persecutions and afflictions, it's not the complaining that is going to bring you out. Amen. Amen. It's faith that's going Amen. to bring you out. Amen. It's not going to be looking at it as the disciples looked at it and said, Who sinned? Him or his parents that he was born blind? That's, that's the world's way of looking at things. Amen. God's way of looking at things is it's an opportunity for God to show His power in our lives. Amen. Not by doubt and confusion, but by faith, knowing that God's purpose is pure. Amen. And that His way is holy. Amen. Knowing that all things work together for good to them that love Him. Amen. The call according to His purpose. Amen. Back in John chapter 9 in our text this morning. Jesus told them, He says, verse 4, I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. You know what? We only have so many opportunities in life. There are only, only a few opportunities that we have in life. Why? Because life is short. Yeah. You know what? The night is coming when no man can work. The opportunities that we have for God to work strong in our lives, we need to, to redeem. Amen? Yeah. We need to redeem the time that we have. Because the night cometh when no man can work. We need to work the works. Amen. Amen. We need to work the works of Him that calls us. Amen. He that has called us unto His glorious uh, light. Amen. That we might live in that light and walk in that light. And shine that light unto others. Amen. Look at Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15 through 17. He says... See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Yeah. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yeah. What is the will of the Lord? To use us, amen, as His vessels. That's what the will of the Lord is. To use us in this life to show His mighty power. You say, but I'm no good. But that's okay, amen? We're all no good. Yeah. <laughs> and what I mean by it's okay is that, you know what? If you confess your sin, He is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Yes. Amen? You might think you're a broken vessel, but Jesus can help, amen? Yeah. Jesus yeah. can heal. He can fix you, amen? He can make you new again. Yeah. He is the great physician. Amen. And it is by faith that if you look to Him for your strength, that we can all say, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Because it's not by our power, but it's by His. Amen. Understand what the will of the Lord is for you. It's for you to be a vessel of mercy and honor. Yeah. It is you to be a cup in which He can fill. Amen. Look to 2 Timothy chapter 2. Second Timothy chapter 2 verses 19 through 21. Says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, 
and meat for the master's use, yeah. and prepared unto every good work. Yeah. Now this is the will of God concerning you, amen? That you depart from iniquity, that you allow God to clean you up, amen? Yeah. You allow God to work in your life and to separate yourself from the things of the world so that you uh, can be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. Yeah. That means made to be useful, amen? Meat, made to be useful. God can make you what He wants you to be, amen? amen. It doesn't matter what qualifications you think you don't have. It doesn't matter what limitations you think you have. God can make you meet for His use if you will only follow Him. Amen. If you will look to Him. We know that the foundation of God stands assured. Yeah. Because we have been sealed by His Holy Spirit. Yeah. And because we have that seal, we have faith and boldness knowing that God will and can work in our lives. Yeah. Look at Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, and starting in verse 11, it says... For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, yeah. teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, yeah. who gave Himself for us, that He might redeem us from what? all iniquity and to purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Yeah. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority let no man despise thee. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because of God before us who can be against That's right. Amen. He gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify us to himself as a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Yeah. Ready for every good work. Amen? Ready for every good work. But we need to look to Him. We need to look to His grace, knowing that His grace teaches us that we are to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. Amen? That we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Yeah. Knowing that time is short. Knowing that we must redeem the time that we have. May do. Amen. Work the works of Him that has called us unto His glory. And then Jesus said unto that blind man, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam, which is interpreted sent. <laughs> That's not by accident. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's not by accident. You say, well, how did that man have the power to go and wash and be made clean and, and, and to see? Because he was sent Amen. by Jesus Christ. Amen. You say, how do we have the power to live for him? How do we have the power to do what he's called us to do? Because he's the one that has sent us. Amen. Amen. Look at Romans chapter 10, 10, starting in verse 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. How then shall they call on Him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in Him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Yeah. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our report? So that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. Listen, how are people going to believe? By those who Jesus Christ has sent to preach the gospel. Yeah. Amen. For faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. And how are they going to hear? By those whom he has sent. And who has he sent? By those who have called.
called on his name. Amen. 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 Those he has given the power and has sent us to be used of him. Amen. To show his power on this earth. As Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Amen. Why? Because he is the light. Amen. <laughs> and he is in us. And we are to shine as lights in the world. Amen. He said that ye are the salt of the earth. Amen. We are here to give that salt to others. To show others the preservative of God's word, Amen. which is Jesus Christ. Look at Ephesians chapter 3. Jesus, Jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest yeah. take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly yeah. amen that's who we are to be uh, learning from amen to cast our burden upon him and to learn of him to take his yoke upon us yeah. And to follow Him. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 8 through 21 says, Unto me who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hidden God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Yeah. To the intent that now unto principalities and powers and heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. You yeah. see, God chose His church. Mm -hmm. God chose us yeah. to send out that gospel light. Yeah. Amen. And He says, according to the eternal purpose which He purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of Him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, yeah. that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, yeah. and to know the love of Christ with patch, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. Amen. What's the power that worketh in us? Jesus. Amen. Amen. Unto Him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world Amen. without end. Amen. Amen. We have been sent. <laughs> and not only have we been sent, but we've been given the power. Amen. Amen. We've been given the power in us. Look to Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 and we'll be through. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. For whom He did foreknow, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom... He did predestinate them He also called. And whom He called, them He also justified. And whom He justified, them He also glorified. Yeah. That we, or that, sh or what shall we say, then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Yeah. Amen. Not only did He call us, but He justified us. Amen. And not only did He justify us, but He glorified Amen. us. Amen. Amen. He made us meet for the Master's Amen. use. Oh, look for the opportunities each day for Jesus. Amen. 
to work in your life. Yes. He's passing by each opportunity. Amen. Amen. He's there at each crossroad. He's there at each decision. He's there at each problem that arises in your life. Look to Jesus eh, and live. Amen. Amen. Let's stand. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the message that was preached. Lord, we just thank you how you uh, are never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, how you are there to show yourself strong in our lives if we will look for you. To have faith, Lord, knowing that whatever problems and, uh, and uh, decisions we might face, that, Lord, uh, your will is to work in our lives and to show your power in us. Lord, that we might be used in this life as a vessel. Lord, to show your glory unto others. Lord, to be witnesses for you. Forgive us where we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our altars are open for those who want to.